Hi, everybody. My name's Tracy, and I'm happy to be able to read with you today. Before we talk about the title of this book, some of you may know it or be able to read it already. But if you don't, look at that. I think this is a very interesting cover. What do you think about this cover? Where do you think this boy is? And why do you think he might be holding his ears, covering his ears? I think it's very interesting. And now to tell you the title, which sort of explains both those things, it's This Beach is Loud, the book is called. And it's written by Samantha Cotterell. I hope I'm saying her name correctly. I'll show you this page because it's got something interesting too. This title page has a little chart. I can do it. Read about beaches. Play barefoot in sandbox. Try on and pick swimsuit. Pack for the beach. If you did all four of those things, it equals a beach day. So I think the, the, the kid in this book had to accomplish these four things before the beach day. That maybe looks like the packing. And here it comes, beach day. Oh my goodness, it's four o'clock in the morning. That's awfully early for most people. Some people, that's a regular time to get up, but it would be early for me. Here he goes, he's excited. What's he say? He says, dad, 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 dad. Let's go, let's go. I made you breakfast. I think he made this breakfast. If you look at this picture, I think maybe it's got cereal and milk and coffee right in the cereal, which is not usually how people who drink coffee have their coffee sprinkled on top of their cereal. It's usually a separate thing. Well, let's go, let's go. I made you breakfast. Did all the packing. That was on his list. And even got myself dressed. Remember, this was on the list too. Try on and choose a bathing suit. You can kind of tell these are new because there's a tag. It's like they're right from the store. So he's got to try on all these different bathing suits and find one he that works out for him. And it does right here. Now, these others, don't, I don't think they're comfortable. Do you? Okay, now they're in the car driving to the beach. And you see all those wavy words down there. <laughs> I think the boy is talking very quickly. I'm going to try some of the words you can't even see all the way, but I'm going to try to give you a sense of how I think maybe it sounds. Dad, 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 dad. Did you know that crabs and some insects live in sand? Turtles bury their eggs and the longest beach in the world is in Brazil. Can we go there? Dad, I don't like these crackers. I'm hungry. I really can't eat them. I think they're too crackery. Are we almost there? It's 955. How many more minutes? Uh, oh, now it's 9.56. Are we almost there? Will we be there at 9.58? Dad, I need to pee. Dad, my butt is wet. Dad, I, uh, I knocked over my water. It's 9.59. Dad, I think he's just talking very quickly in an excited way. It's what those words are indicating. Beach day. Now, how's the boy looking? Does he look a little worried? This beach looks busy. I wonder if maybe he wasn't expecting it to be that busy. All the kinds of different activities going on at the beach over here. They're digging, they're pat patting the sand, stomp stomping the sand. So this beach looks busy and loud. Thanks. He obviously read about beaches because he knew about the biggest beach in Brazil and the turtles burying their eggs and all that stuff. But I think maybe he didn't expect the beach to be this busy and loud. His dad says, let's try over there. I think maybe he's looking for a quieter spot. There's a lot going on on this beach. And they're walking. How much longer? Sharky is heavier than he looks. Who's carrying uh, the heavy stuff, really? They think the dad is. I think he's mostly just worried. And now I'm going to show you this page and then read it to you. There's sand in my boots. I don't like sand. Now it's in my suit and on Sharky. Oh, then he takes off his boots because there's sand in them. And then the sand is hot, hot. Yowch! And he jumps on his dad to get off the hot sand. 
So he thought he was ready for the beach, but he's has some things he needs to get used to. Here's another page where I think he's probably speaking very quickly, something like, Daddy, I don't like the beach and I want to go home. The sand is ouchy and sticky and bumpy and scratchy and sharky doesn't feel the same. And, and the dad says, take a deep breath and give sharky a squeeze. Now tap your fingers and count to three. He's tapping his fingers like this. One, two, three. What do you think his dad is telling him to do these things? You think it's to make him feel calm? I think it's to make him feel calm, more calm. There's the dig, dig, pat, pat, splish, splash, bloosh. And then seagulls are making noise. Or sometimes seagulls sound kind of like they're laughing and flapping their wings. And then a plane goes over. It feels like, I wonder if the noises are really getting louder or if the boy is just getting overwhelmed by them. And so it seems like they're getting louder and more confused. But his dad keeps telling him, you've got this. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. And now the boy says, it. one, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. And his dad said, you did it. You are so brave. He made it to where the dad wanted to set up um, their, their beach stuff. I'll set up your fort while you choose a drink from the cooler. So the boy got through all the loud parts, got to the spot where they're gonna set up their spot. And let's see. And he's got a little shelter for himself, like a little tent. His dad called it a fort. And he's making a sink castle. Hmm, it needs something. I think that helps the boy get interested in the castle. Maybe this flag? And Sharky wants a moat. I think he's starting to relax and have fun. His dad helped him calm down so he could do that, right? And here he's making some of his own sounds. Squeak, squeak, dip, dip, splish, splash. Big splash with Sharky coming out of the bucket. <laughs> Crash, he splashed his dad. So now he's making some noise of his own. Ah, still some more. Pat, pat, stomp, stomp, scoop, scoop. Ooh, that's nice at the beach. I do, tap. I like that picture because it's like they're buddies. They're part, they were partners in this, right? They were partners in making nice beach day. And then on the way home, it's probably something like, dad, 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 when can we go back? Can we come back tonight? What time is it? 6 p.m.? I'm hungry. Where are the crackers I love? Dad, did you know that seagulls can, can drink both fresh and salt water? Dad, 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 dad. And that's the end. Thanks for reading this speech as loud with me. Take care.